Welcome back. My final tipping point tonight, the five best books I've read all year. You know I love to read. I try to read a book a week. I have about 10 days left to hit 52. But here are my top five favorite books of 2016. Number five on the list, Things That Matter by Charles Krauthammer. This is a fantastic book. You'll learn about 100 new vocabulary words while you read it, and it's an easy read because it's set up in vignettes or essays. It's wonderfully insightful, and it's funny. Read it. Number four on the list, Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. I know I don't agree much politically with Sheryl Sandberg, but a lot of what's in this book transcends politics. Not all of it. I don't think she's right about legislating equal pay, but most of it's about how to succeed personally in a man's world, to be feminine and strong. She's an incredibly successful woman. I liked this book a lot. Number three on the list, How to Be Right by Greg Gutfeld. This one's good. How do we fight the moral battle of conservative values without being prim and proper and boring? It's actually more effective to be interesting. And Greg's hilarious. This is a good plain ride read. Number two on the list, The Truth About the Black Lives Matter Movement and the War on Police by Dr. Ron Martinelli. This book is a must read. It's meticulously researched. All the citations are included. It's not political, which is an interesting take on the Black Lives Matter movement, but it reveals who the founders are, three lesbian women, what their goals are, a Marxist America, and why they've picked an assault on police as their vanguard to start the revolution. Read this one as soon as you can. It's not a long read either. Number one, best book of 2016, Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. I could not put this one down. I've already read it twice, some parts more than twice. This book is literally a template on how to win arguments and negotiations. I've read tons of books like this, but this one's different. This guy's a former FBI hostage negotiator. I don't know what else to say about it except to read it, and every time I've used the tactics in this book, I've won the argument. And that's it. That's my final point. That's my list. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. Tweet me the best books you've read this year. I'm already starting to compile my reading list for 2017. Also, if you like the show, please send me an email at oann.com contact. We'll see you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.